I'm trying to sit you back up over here and I don't know why my phone stopped working right. <clears throat> I'll figure something out here. There you go. Get that pot handle out of there. Okay, let's turn a little light on there for you so you can see. I'm going to grab my little level I got. Put your mask on. I gotta say, I really like this welder. It's a Hobart Handler 140. This thing is awesome. I haven't had any issues with it. And I can be sitting there welding almost six hours. Six hours, but you can weld an hour straight on bodywork and it ain't having no issues. Of course, it's on the lowest setting, yeah, it's on number one, and then uh, I got my wire feed sitting on number 30, and then I got my Argon O2 tank sitting on uh, 10 pounds. This is my third tank, and I don't want to have to buy another one. I don't have to because we are moving soon. And I don't want to, want to hold on to. Well, I do want to hold on to. It's always good to have that gas here. What I'm willing, but I don't think I'll be able to use it on the other property at first because we're going off grid, so there ain't gonna be no power tie-in. Yeah, girlfriend just talked about it today. She got home from work and like, what are we gonna do for a house phone? There's no internet. We ain't got no TV. And we won't have Netflix. We won't have, uh, well, we could have Netflix that's through the internet, but we don't have cable. The phone goes through the internet with, uh, we call it Magic Jack. And so things are changing. We're gonna have a, post office box we're not going to have an address just a cabin we don't need that stuff oh, I suppose we better turn it on huh all right
underneath. I want to keep all my welds underneath instead of on top. touching up on top. I like to use a flashlight so that I can see all the holes going through the metal so I can get them all filled in nicely.
You guys still there? Oh yeah, you're still there. For some reason the phone shuts off on me. Always remember your safety gear. This flash right here came from Harbor Freight. It's a Braun. Put rechargeable batteries in it. I think it's 1700 lumens. Pretty nice. I strapped this one and another one to the front of the tractor. Used it as headlights for a little bit. I had to go get firewood at night out back. go start to finish took me less than 20 minutes and the automotive shop that worked on this just put a little thin piece of metal over top of this and just tack weld it and that's it look how easy that was to do I just found a big enough washer that this can fit through and and I can fit in there. Ooh, look at that. It don't fit. It's all right. I got a whole saw. I'll cut it out bigger. I got the burrs. Them um, deep burring tools. These things here. Got from Hard Freight so I can uh, I'll round it out. Make it a little bigger for the rubber grommet to fit in. Easy. Some people make a job so hard, and here I am, tear this thing all the way down, doing the floors. I got this part out this morning, starting work on some of the grinding out these uh, uh, spot welds some. This support looks pretty good. I have the piece of metal. The body mount bolt that goes down in here. I made that too. Welded that up. I gotta chisel all that shit out of there. Then that can fit down inside there. And I weld it in place. And then of course the bolt comes in from the bottom. And I'm good to go. I gotta reinforce some of this because I see some stress cracks here. Get it for oh, there's a oh, just some. I'll have to chisel out some of this rust so I can get some paint in there. And I'll reinforce it as um, everything. When doing stuff like this, it's a puzzle piece. Especially from this reinforcement to
to build in the wall here, the panel for a wall here and the floor. And well, a good thing is on this side, I didn't have to build all this lipping here, this lips here already here. So all I gotta do is I can grind out some of this stuff. It looks pretty solid here for the most part. I'll get some of this tar off from here. I think that's what saved it the most over the years is all that tar they put on it. They put some thick ass tar on there. But it don't last forever. So I'm gonna, oh, maybe I could weld on. I see there's nuts here. So maybe I could weld a nut back on the back side here and weld a nut, uh, two nuts on the other side. When I drill those out on that other panel, then I got nuts. I ain't got to fight with nuts before. All right, let me get back to work. I'll give you an update later tonight. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And hit that bell for notifications. Thank you.